Well, hello! Here's my next Halloween tutorial, which is a great last-minute look and it's super affordable. All you need is a few products to recreate it, which makes it perfect for those of you who want to stay on a budget. If you want to know how to do this comic slash pop art zombie look, then let's just jump right into the video. First of all, with a black pencil liner, I started sketching out the hollow on my nose and filling it in with black face paint. Then I'm sketching out hollows around my eyes, so any skull picture could help you do that, or just follow your bone structure. Hold wet wipes close to you so that you can easily fix any mistakes you possibly make. Then I started sketching out my mouth area and I wanted to look like my skin is torn so that the teeth peek through. So I'm just making three irregular rounded shapes. Make sure to find a few reference pictures because it makes everything a lot easier. Don't worry about that white tape on my forehead, it will be covered later in the end. Then I mix this bold green with yellow and some brownish face paint from the palette you've seen a few minutes ago and with a flat brush I'm gonna apply the color all over my face avoiding hollows that I previously made. Tip number one, use bigger brush and save some time. Cover your brows with green paint and use smaller brushes around your mouth. Take a little break and then bring out some eyeshadows. I'm using my more affordable ones because I'll be putting on a huge amount. So I'm taking this deep teal shade and started doing some ombre on my forehead. Just make sure to really blend it in. I'm gonna bring the color down my cheekbones and to the inner sides of my eye hollows. And mix that shade with some black and apply it to the very edges of your forehead. Next I'm mixing red and brown face paint and I'm filling in those eye hollows first. And after that I took white eye pencil and started drawing my teeth. They can be a bit bigger because we're doing the comic version of zombie, so I'm trying to follow the order of my teeth as a guide. Repeat the same thing for the lower part and make sure to leave some space between them, like one or two millimeters. And after that I'm going over it all with white face paint to intensify the colors a bit more. Moving back to my eyes till this dries. I started taking some purple, red and pink eyeshadows to shade the eye hollow area. I'm applying it randomly to bring some more color. I dipped my brush into translucent powder to set everything so it doesn't look shiny. Then I filled the mouth area with the same burgundy color that I used before. After that, it seemed to me as if my nose hollow was too big, so I wiped it off and did a smaller one. Now use a black liquid eyeliner and outline all the shapes you previously made. And then my battery died. Yep, that happened. I wanted to save some time and I did one half of my face, but I'll show you what I exactly did. After I outlined everything, I took some green, blue and yellow eyeshadows and applied them randomly onto my green skin, making some gradients so that the colors look like they are merging with each other. Make sure to blend well so that there's no visible transitions between colors. With my liquid liner, I started making a bunch of lines all around my face to give some dimension and to achieve different effects. 
It is good to have a reference picture for this part. I'm using Alex Party's artwork as inspiration. I highly recommend you check him out because I absolutely love what he does. The more lines you make, the better it looks. It obviously doesn't have to be perfect. Relax your hand and play around with the shapes of lines. Some of them give an illusion of melted skin, while others accentuate cheekbones or exaggerate folds on the skin. It's all up to you. Use some black eyeshadow to add shade under those lines to give some extra dimension and use a smaller brush for this kind of detailed work. I mixed red, orange and brown to draw my eyebrows and match them with the color of my wig. I went for a slightly thinner look because this is a comic slash cartoon character. Add a winged liner and repeat process with lines in the eye area. Here I'm just darkening the space around my teeth. And with pink face paint, I'm highlighting above and underneath those teeth. And I'm using the same color mixed with a touch of red to highlight the flush around my eyes. Then I took some yellow face paint and repeated the highlighting process all over my face. Add mascara and some sassy lashes and move on to the body part. I decided to wear a strapless top so that I have a bigger canvas to work on. And obviously I needed help for this part. I recommend using big brushes to blend those green shadows together and to save some time. I'm going to repeat everything I did on my face onto my body as well. Add white mesh contacts and you're done. So this took me some time to do. It is time consuming but extremely fun and totally worth it. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did while I was making it. Make sure to check out my previous Halloween looks and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more fun. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay sassy.